there's a lot of big misconceptions of Africa. Uh, to say one would be to minimize how many lies have been told to black people specifically over the years to prevent black people from connecting. Because if black people connect with Africa, then the black people will run the world. That's the fact. Welcome to Pan-African Lifestyle, where we rep the motherland. We post content regularly and invite you to subscribe if you're a pal. That's a Pan-African Lifestyler. At the end of the day, it was like, if you are in a position in life where you feel like you don't own your own content, you don't own anything, this is the opportunity now to be able to own that in which we're complaining about. Because in Africa, it's a clean slate. You can build that empire there. You can build that infrastructure there. It just and you already got the you know the information. You're already educated. Africa is the only place in the world where black people can go and build Fortune 500 companies from scratch within five years. You can build it now within five years. Go back to Africa. Okay. Whatever you're doing here, do it there. And Africa is the second biggest continent. All the natural resources. Okay. Oh. That's the difference. Oh. So we got we got we literally got a pot of gold and nobody even going for it. Black people going back home. Can you just oh. imagine if African Americans in America decided, you know what, man, fuck America, we going back home? And then every all the value that we bring here, we took over there. Just imagine, man, all all the major ball players left, started their own team back home. All the major recording artists left, started their own labels back home. Just imagine, just those two sectors. You don't even know how much value we even have. Because collectively, we got enough to do it. We don't have to buy or borrow any from nobody. We can do it ourselves if we just came together to do it. The year of return, it's like a, a movement to make people come back home. So I endorsed it because I believe in that. This is a whole movement. It's not going to be just a year. This is a way of thinking way forward, beyond the return. So now it still keeps going. Like People need to come back. Our people are not living life to the fullest where they are until they return back home. And then as soon as they come back home, most of them don't want to come back. I know a lot of people that came in for just a visit and these guys don't want to go back, you know? So it's, it's just a sense of pride knowing that you have a home to go to as black people. We don't have the same relationship with Africa. Uh, in fact, that's one of the travesties. We lost our connections to our home countries. We lost our lineage. I think the reason why it's not a push, a legitimate push for us to go back to Africa in this positive sense, is because there is a disconnection, I think, in between African Americans here and the continent, uh, the continent of Africa. A lot of it has to do with uh, we don't, we're not com comfortable admitting it. But many of us, as especially those who have never been to Africa, hold perceptions and biases about what Africa is actually like. Once you're there, you feel the immediate connection. It just feels good, much like it does here in America when you go to cities or to places where everybody in there looks like you. There's a sense of comfort. There's, you're able to relax a little bit more as opposed to when you're in mixed environments or as most of us are in environments where we're the minority. But I think a lot of us have, um, just don't have enough education about what Africa is, what it's able to offer. Uh, I think we have some, we hold some very common misperceptions. There's a lot of big misconceptions of Africa. Uh, to say one would be to minimize how many lies have been told to black people specifically over the years to prevent black people from connecting. Because if black people connect with Africa, then the black people will run the world. That's the fact. All those misconceptions I believe were made in order to keep us separated because every black person, every person of African descent, honestly, beyond black and brown, every person feels some connection to the place that every that humankind originated from. It's not a country as far from it. There's so many different ethnic groups. I'm African American, which means I I ha I feel entitled to this soil as well as, as the African continent. The way they treated us, my fucking mama was like, all right, fuck this shit. These motherfuckers talking about go back to Africa, and then fuck it, I will. And I did, and shit was great. I had a great time. Ah, oh, it was lovely. So good that I'm encouraging everybody to go. Every fucking person in the world, especially black people, brown people, or people of African descent. Now, I think about 
going to Africa to live, right? It crossed my mind because I see how beautiful it truly is over there. And what has happened, the system has created such a bad image of Africa over the years as we was growing up, we think it's really bad. Until you go, people go there and they show the homes. They show how successful people are. And they show you how well that you treat it and how it's been this um this lie, this uh, this 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 lie that Africa is in this bubble. So it's it has a lot to do with um information and what's projected. I don't think it's too late for me to go. It's something that I would really think about because if you had I, you gotta go over there and have something going though. You just can't go over there and wing it. Because everything in life takes planning. You just can't go over there and say, I'm just going to take a risk and go. Nah, nah, buddy. Thanks for tuning in to Pan-African Lifestyle. Share your thoughts in the comment section and follow us at Pan-African Lifestyle to be in the know. And for a chance to win awesome giveaways. Keep repping the motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with a high con. Ah, Chief Holiwa Sean Combs, Hola Didi himself. Hey, 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 Daddy Povy. Love. Thank you so much.